Okay, so in our previous video, we just finished uh, reviewing Unit 5, okay? So now we're going to begin uh, reviewing Unit 6. And Unit 6 is about um, daily activities and discussing daily activities with time. And uh, the examples for daily activities include, um, let's see, eat breakfast, eat lunch, uh, wake up in the morning, take a shower, go for a walk, uh, do the dishes, read a book, listen to music, watch a TV, and, and etc. Um, and in order to discuss um, daily activities with time, we have to learn about simple present tense and prepositions of time. So for simple present tense, um, we use them uh, when we have to describe something or actions that happen every day, which goes along very well with daily activities, right? Because daily activities are activities that happen um, every day or most of the time, right? So when we are trying to discuss um, about daily activities, uh, we have to have a question and we have to know how to answer them, right? So for questions, um, there's specific rules that we have to go over. So for simple present tense, um, uh, this is how you form a question. So I'm going to first re just read it out, okay? What do you do in the evening? What do they do in the evening? What does he do in the evening? What does she do in the evening? So in order to form a question for simple present tense form, uh, you have to remember to use do or does. Do or does. And the difference between um, when you form a question with do or does is that you have to look for the pronouns, okay? So for pronouns, um, you want to use does, does, for he and she, and it. So pronouns such as he, she, it, you want to use um, does for the question. So in this case, it would be, what does he do in the evening? Or what does he do every evening? Right? And then here... So, uh, the, the word do is the verb, okay, the, the one in green. So, these are the verb, verb. Um, I'm going to explain this further, but um, in the question form, um, you don't have to do anything to the verb, okay? So, only thing you have to worry about is uh, using the word do or does, based on what kind of pronouns you have. So if you have he, she, it, you have to use does. And here it says uh, in the evening and every evening. So this part is actually talking about like, so what do you do? So it's asking about uh, what do you do or what kind of activity you do, right? And this part, in the evening, is talking about time. So this entire question is actually um, trying to discuss about daily activities with time. There's a verb here in present, and then we, they use simple present tense, and then there's a time. This is a perfect example. And then, so how do we answer, I mean, how do we answer the question? So. What do you do in the evening? And I say, I read. And you have to watch out for the pronouns, right? 
since it says here the subject pronoun is you, when you answer it has to be I, right? And then the verb is just read. Same thing for what do they do in the evening? They read. Same thing. The subject pronoun matches. Now, here is where it gets a little different. What does he do in the evening? He reads. So here, the verb has an extra S. And same thing for she. What does she do in the evening? She reads. So uh, for the pronouns he, she, or it, uh, the verb, when you're answering someone, it has to have an S. So instead of become, uh, read, it becomes reads. So uh, keep that in mind. Now we're going to go talk about propositions of time. Okay. So there are four propositions that we learned. Uh, it was at, on, in, from to. Okay. At can be used for a specific time or parts of the day. So a specific time, 9 o'clock. Or it could be 7.20 or 8.30. Parts of the day, night, uh, noon, midday, midnight. Now, on, the proposition on, it are, um, is used for days and dates. So days include examples such as Thursday, my birthday. I mean, I didn't write it all in here, but it could be Christmas Day. Uh, and what else? Uh, oh, on the weekend, on the weekend. Dates, today's April 16th, so another way we can say is 16th of April. In is also used for parts of the day, or so we say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Uh, month, in April, years, in 2020, in seasons, uh, for seasons in the spring it could be right now springtime but it could be in the some uh, so there are four seasons if you don't remember spring summer uh, fall and winter okay and then we have periods of time so present um, in present in present and in the past in the future and then finally we have from two and from two is used to or is used for describing something that starts and ends. So example here, it says from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, so the easy way to uh, use this proposition of time is, um, is uh, when you're looking at the whole picture, um, the time gets longer from, well, Disregard the from to proposition. Let's just talk. Just look at at on and in. If you look at at on and in and then how they are used, you see that the time gets longer, right? So comp let's compare this. So it's specific time here, days, uh, years. Which one has a longer time? And you can see that in years is longer than days. And you can see the days are longer than a specific time, right? And as I explained before too, um, you're gonna also, if you're confused, um, here we have parts of the day for at and parts of the day for in. So here, we have a night, and parts of the day, um, we can say in the evening, okay? Evening. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, evening. And remember, evening and, and night, they're totally different thing, okay? I hope you remember that. Because, uh, if I recall, 
evening is from sunset uh, to sunrise, and then night is sunset to midnight. That's how long it is. So if you compare the amount of time, um, the parts of the day for in is actually a lot longer. Okay. Uh, so, so as you go down from at to in, the time gets longer. And that's, uh, that's what I want you to remember. So whenever you look at sentences or um, in questions or answers form for uh, discussing daily activities with time, I want you to remember four rules, the four rules. Um, so number one, pronouns. Um, make sure the pronouns match each other. So if it's you, it's I, they, they, he, he, she, she, right? And then make sure uh, if it's for a question, if they have pronoun he or she, you need to use the word does, okay? And if it's not, you have to use do. And for the answer, uh, if your pronoun is he or she or it, you need to ha uh, add an S right here. To your verb. Okay. So I talked about number three. So number four, last one, um, proposition of time. So when I ask you about a daily activity, I could ask you, so what do you do in the morning? So uh, what do you do uh, on Christmas Day, or what are you gonna do at 8:30 a.m. in the morning? You know. So these are four things to keep in mind when you are um, uh, talking about or writing about uh, daily activities with time. So now uh, we're gonna do a uh, few exercises um, to. Uh, practice what we just talked about okay okay so now this is the exercise that I want you to do um, this question well I want you to the exercise is to complete the questions and answers and there are four uh, questions and answers so number one what blank my blank on Saturday he blank Exercise, exercises. Number two, what blank Sarah and Tom blank in the morning? They blank runs or run. Number three, what blank you blank on the weekend? Ooh, gonna put the N on the weekend. Blank, usually blank. Number four, what blank Sarah blank at four o'clock she blank goes or go for a walk okay uh, so I want you to pause the video for a second and then uh, complete the question and answers on your own and then resume the video once you're done and uh, we'll go over it together so I think everyone's done now um, with the exercise so let's go over it okay so here, what blank Mike blank on Saturday? So Mike is the subject, and then the subject pronouns he. So in the question, you need to have does. Right? So when you're asking a question, if the subject pronoun is, is he, she, or it, you need to uh, have the word does. So what does Mike? And we're talking about daily activities or some kind of activity. So do on Saturday. And the answer, he, is it an exercise or exercises? Is exercises, right? So when you answer um, for a verb, and you, uh, you need to add an S. So he exercises, especially for pronouns with he, she, or it. So number two, what blank Sarah and Tom blank in the morning? Sarah and Tom are 
the subject, and then the subject pronoun is they, then it means that we can say do. What do Sarah and Tom do in the morning? They run. It's pretty easy, huh? So you just have to watch out for the pronouns, especially. If it's not, if it's he, she, or it, you need to add, uh, add does for a question. And then when you answer the verb, uh, it must have an S. Uh, what blank you blank on the weekend is you. So do you do on the weekend. And when you reply, the pronouns have to match, right? So if it's you, you have to say I. I usually uh, sleep. No need for an S. Uh, you don't need to add an S to sleep. Uh, number four, what blank Sarah blank at four o'clock? She blank for a walk. Sarah is a subject. Subject pronoun she. So we say does. Sarah do. At four o'clock, she goes, goes for a walk. Oh, I don't need to write this, goes with an S. No. Uh, now that we finished this exercise, we're gonna do one more exercise uh, to go over uh, or practice uh, uh, prepositions of time, okay? Okay, so this is the uh, last exercise for review, uh, reviewing unit six. So here, I want you to also uh, uh, pause the video and do the exercises on your own first, then we'll go over it together, okay? So only resume the video when you're done. Okay. Okay, let's go over um, the uh, exercise. So here, right at, in, on, or to. So to, on. Okay. So for August, number one, August. August is a month, so we say in. In. Number two, Christmas. Christmas. It's in Christmas, okay? So if you said on Christmas, it's wrong, okay? If the answer was, if, if the, uh, the question here was Christmas day, then the proposition on would be correct. Christmas is not just Christmas, okay? Christmas includes Christmas day and Christmas Eve. Okay, so it's longer than a day. So we have to say in. The afternoon, in, in the afternoon. From Monday to Friday for number four. Number five, 4.55 is a specific time. So we say at 4.55, the wedding day. Now, this is a day, okay? For days, we say on the wedding day. Now, uh, for this one, I want you to complete the paragraph using at, in, on, or to. So let's look at it. My name is Bob. I usually get up blank eight o'clock blank the morning. So he's it. 8 o'clock is very specific, so we use at. And then in the, mo uh, the morning is a part of the day for uh, preposition uh, in. So you say in. I work from Monday, blank Friday. It's obvious, so it's two. But I don't work, blank Thursday. Thursday is a day. So the proposition is on. I usually finish work blank 7.30. So a specific time, so we use at. 
I get home around 10.30, blank the evening. Evening is part of the day for, I mean, the evening is part of the day for the preposition word uh, in. So in. So that was an easy exercise, right? Um, so today um, we finished reviewing both Unit 5 and Unit 6. Um, and that's it for uh, the, today's video. Okay, uh, thank you for joining. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, please let me know. Um, uh, by texting or giving me a call, okay? All right, thank you.